All right. Hey guys, so as you can see, this spread is already partially filled out and that is because I started planning without realizing my camera wasn't filming, but thankfully I caught it before we got too far in. As you can see, all I've done is put down the washi at the top. I think that washi is from Hobby Lobby. I also marked some holidays, so there's Christmas Eve and then I don't know how many other people did this, but we always call the day before Christmas Eve Christmas Adam, so I marked that as well. I did my sidebar over here with a Bible verse and a couple of stickers from a Molong sticker book. And then I started planning Monday. This sticker is from Happy Daya, the kettlebell is from my shop, and that is from Grin and Bear Plans. So I'm actually kind of glad I realized I wasn't filming because I also realized at the time that I have not been putting down my Christmas countdown. And I want to do that. This week I guess I'll put it at the bottom just because I forgot to put it at the top of Monday. And I want it to look similar. So I'm going to pop these down. They are so cute. And I am sorry that I did not catch that I wasn't filming at first. But hopefully it's not a big problem because the setup of the spread is probably the least interesting portion if I had to guess. But I will definitely be more careful next time. And the next plan with me that y'all see from me will be my first spread in my new Hobonichi cousin because I'm not going to do a plan with me for the last week of this year. But you will see that spread in my flip through of this planner. All right, so I think we're ready to get into planning yet again. So next I want to mark work and I'm going to use one of these Christmas working bunny stickers that came on a freebie from my shop a couple months ago. And I'm using my usual Twisby pen, by the way. Well, it's the fine nib. I'll link it all below as usual. So on this day, I wanted to edit and upload. And then design the final new releases for our end of the year sale. I needed to fill orders. Post a snake on Instagram. And also design the graphic for the sale. After that, I needed to run some errands, so I think I'm going to grab a car sticker if I can find one to match the spread. And y'all will probably also notice that I'm not using a sheet of stickers that I pre-selected this week. Y'all said you like the sticker sounds when I'm looking for stickers in my binder, so I decided to go back to my old style of planning. And I really appreciate your feedback. It helps me so much to know exactly what y'all want to see when I'm filming. So I needed to go to the post office. Aldi and Walmart. All right. And then the only thing I have left to read or to mark is reading. So I'm gonna grab a reading sticker. I want a green one, I think, because we haven't used much green on this day. It needs to be a darker green. I have these lighter greens, but I feel like those aren't as Christmassy. I'm gonna use this one from my shop, of course. Oh, and I didn't even mention, I'm not using a Christmas kit this week. I don't know why, I just didn't feel like using a kit, so I'm just pulling in red and green stickers. And I have different washies that I might pull in as well. All 
Okay, going over to Tuesday. So it was another big work day. I'm going to use another one of these bunny stickers. I'm hoping I can use them up in the spread. I'm thinking about making these for all the seasons and I'm thinking about doing Winston's and bunnies. So if y'all would be interested, let me know because this type of sticker is one that I use all the time. And I think it'd be fun to have different ones for the seasons. Okay, so on Tuesday I needed to design the sale freebies. As well as work on listings. Print and cut new releases. And that took me a while, so I might take one of these washies and pull it in. I'm tempted to use the peppermint stripe because I feel like I'm not sure if I could get a whole phrase off of this one and have room for it. Let's see. I might be able to. Let's give it a try. Okay, so I cut the bottom into a flag, and now I'm just going to try and line it up very neatly. And I'm going to take my little stencil and use it as a ruler to cut it hopefully straight along this line. a little bit too close to the words. Didn't realize how close that was. Let's try it again. Okay, I think that was good. <laughs> Rip my page. I was hoping I could pull it up from this side. Oh. Alrighty here. Let's take a look at that damage. Mm. I might be able to glue that back down. Let me grab a glue stick. Alright, I only have the purple Elmer's glue, so I'm just gonna dab it on there and it'll dry clear so hopefully that works that's the best thing i know to do i guess i could have put a piece of clear scotch tape on top but i think that's okay all right so next i want to mark that i got a really nice christmas card on this day so i'm gonna grab a christmas sticker I think I'm out of my Christmas card stickers, but I have lots of other Christmassy stickers. In fact, it might be sort of challenging to pick just one, although I do have these Christmas stamps from Piper Paper Company. That might be the best thing to use, and they're really cute, and they're nicely sized for this planner. Okay, next I did some cooking slash baking-ish stuff because I was making some goodies for my family's Christmas get-together. What I actually made was fudge, chocolate fudge, chocolate walnut fudge, and cowboy bark. So those are really more like candies. Well, I would say they're definitely candies. And I have 
an exciting new sheet from my shop. I have this new candy sampler that I think I'm going to use to mark making this stuff. It is my first time making either of these things. I'm going to use the chocolate bar because since it's red, it actually matches really well. So it was my first time making either of these things, and I was kind of nervous about how they would come out, but they both came out really good, which was great. And I posted on my Instagram story about making these, so you may have seen that already. And then at the bottom, I have just enough room to mark washing my hair. Although I think I might be out of wash hair Winstons. I don't know if I've, I think I, oh no, I, I was going to say I thought I ran out, but I obviously didn't because I have a sheet right here. So I'm going to put that right there. That wraps up Tuesday, let's head to Wednesday. So Wednesday was my last work day for a while because I was going on a little vacation for Christmas. So I have only one work thing to mark for this day and that is that I filmed my 2024 Hobonichi Cousin setup. That is already live on my channel. I will link it in the cards if you'd like to check it out. And to mark that, I'm going to use this little filming Winston sticker. After that, I wanted to go to the gym, so I'm going to grab one of our new kettlebell stickers. I think I'm going to take this dark green one. And then I needed to post my out of the office notice. I just like to post those so hopefully people see them and they don't you know, get upset if I don't answer their comment or message right away. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think I want to use red for this one. So I'm going to use this vintage phone sticker that's from my shop. It's from my shop from many moons ago when my logo looked like that, if any of y'all have been here since those days. Okay, I said I only had one work thing to mark for this day, but I lied because when I got home from the gym and I finished the Instagram posting, I also edited and uploaded my video and did some more listings work, so I am going to mark that. Next, I think I'm going to mark that we got Chick-fil-A for dinner, and I'm going to see if I have any Chick-fil-A Winstons left of that. I have two, actually, so that's perfect. 
I think I had rewards points this day is why I wanted to go. As if I need an excuse to go to Chick-fil-A. Alright, and then I'm going to mark that I actually got another really nice Christmas card. So I think I'm going to use the same Christmas sheet that I used on Tuesday because it does have another variety of stamp on it. Put that right there. That one has a little reindeer. How cute is that? And I'm also going to go ahead and put down a little Reading Winston. going over to Thursday. Okay, I thought I did all my work on Wednesday, but looking at my little notebook over here, I kept working into Thursday, so I don't know why I couldn't stop working. Apparently, I just really felt like working this week, even though I was supposed to be on vacation. Unfortunately, I don't have any more cute Christmassy work stickers, so I'm going to have to use like a regular work sticker. So let's use Old Faithful laptop Winston. Not Christmas themed, but still very cute. So I filmed the new releases video. Then I edited and uploaded that video. Then I did listings. Okay, and I kind of want to put down more washi. I just really like Christmas washi. I think it's fun to use. Maybe I should have pulled out another green one. I don't know though, this red's really dark. I might leave that off after all. All right, anyway, so then I baked a pumpkin roll, which is one of my absolute favorite, favorite things. I know that's more of a fall food and not so much Christmas, but because I like it so much, I wanted to have one. So I baked one. And I have a couple of Christmas baking stickers, so I'm going to try and use one of those. I think I'm going to use this oven mitt sticker from Paper and Milk. Next, I needed to run to Walmart for something. I'm not sure why I needed to go back to Walmart after I just went on Monday, but who knows? I don't, I don't have any Christmas grocery stickers, do I? No, I don't think so. But I do have this bell pepper sticker. And this sticker is so old. This is one of the first sticker sheets I ever bought. And it does not have any sort of logo on it. So I have no idea what that shop was called or is called if it still exists. When I got home from Walmart, I wanted to do laundry. I wish I had Christmas laundry stickers, that would be so cute. But I don't, so I'll just find a regular 
laundry sticker. The ones I have from my shop are pretty neutral. Funnily enough, I used to have these in a multicolor variety, but no one really liked them or they didn't sell very well anyway. So I switched it to this neutral color. Now I kind of wish I had the multicolor back. Let's see if we have any other colorful ones. Nope, it looks like these are going to be our best bet. So I'll just take one of these and put it down. That is very crooked. Is that better? All right, so next, as I said, we were leaving for a little Christmas trip on Friday, and we didn't want to bring all of our gifts with us, especially since some of them were fragile. So me, Ashley, and my mom opened them up on Thursday night, so it was like a little pre-Christmas type thing. So I'm going to use this cute Santa Winston to mark that. We do save our stockings to open on Christmas Day though, so that's always really fun. After we opened gifts, we watched The Grinch, so I'm going to use this snuggly Winston from the Christmas Winston sheet because we snuggled up on the couch to watch that. It's one of our favorite Christmas movies, and we watched the original one, the cartoon one from the 50s or 60s, I'm not sure exactly when it's from. Alright, and now we're going to head over to Friday. So I'm going to officially mark my last work task for this week, which was filming, editing, and uploading my 2024 planner lineup. Again, that's already on my channel, so I'll link it in the cards. I just had a couple things to do before we left this day, a couple of chore-ish type things. So I'm gonna grab a cleaning sticker, I think. All right, what did I have to do? Okay, I had to do laundry, clean my bathroom, and then pack. I'll get a separate packing sticker in a minute here. Cleaning, I'm gonna use this mop sticker from Happy Day and it already says clean, so I'm not even gonna write anything to go with it. Now as for the packing sticker, I think I'm going to use this one from Stick With The Plan Co. And I don't even think I said, but we went to Charleston for this little trip. All right, and of course, then we had to drive to Charleston. So I'm going to grab another car sticker. Maybe a green one this time, if I have a green one. I have greens, but they're just not the right shade of green. So I guess I'll use red again, which is fine. And I know I was debating using this washi tape earlier, but I am going to use it now since 
The drive took a couple hours and I don't have much else to mark on this day anyway. I don't think it'll look too bad. Let's get it down and see. Wow, why is that so crooked? Did I cut it that way? Okay, I trimmed it up. Let's see if that helped any. Yeah, okay. Looks pretty good. So when we got to South Carolina, we obviously checked into our Airbnb. And by the way, I vlogged this whole trip. I'll link that in the cards as well. If you want to see our Airbnb and what we got up to. We went to Publix. And we got there to grab a few groceries. So for this grocery run, I'm going to use this little sticker from PMD Stickers. <laughs> totally blanked on that name for a second there. And then in the evening, I finished the book I was reading. So I'm gonna use another Reading Winston to mark that. It looks kind of weird with the two stacked like that, but I really wanna use that sticker. So I'm gonna deal with it. Alright, and now we're on to Saturday, which is when the vacation really officially started and we actually did stuff outside of the house, so that's good. I already marked Christmas Adam, then the first thing we did during the day was go walk around White Point Garden and the Battery and look at the houses on Meeting Street and Water Street and down in that area. So I think I'm going to grab a camera sticker, like a travel type sticker to mark that. Let's see, I have these and these ones. I do have camera Winstons, but I also have these. I kind of want to use this one because it's red. So I'm going to put that right there. And I know I'm going to need the other ones, so I'll just use those throughout the spread at a different time. The next thing we did was go to the museum at Market Hall, which is a Civil War museum. And to mark that, I'm going to use this camera sticker from What's More With Love. Next we had lunch, or more like brunch, at another Broken Egg Cafe. And to mark that, I'm going to use the stack of pancakes from Happy Daya. After we ate, we did some more walking around. We went to Waterfront Park and to the French Quarter and just around. And I think to mark that, I'm gonna use this wreath Winston because we looked at all the Christmas decorations, of course. In the evening, we actually went over to the beach because it was fairly warm. I think it was maybe 40 or 50 degrees, so not too cold. 
and we wanted to watch the sunset and Ashley wanted to look for some specimens. So I'm going to try and find a beach sticker that isn't super summery that I can maybe use. We'll see if I have any that will fit the bill. If I had a seashell or something that would work, but most of my stickers are summery themed. Hmm. I'm sure I have something though, somewhere in here. Maybe I should do a seashells doodle sheet. Okay, I'm just going to use this sunset sticker from my shop because all the beach stickers I have are really summery, so this will have to do. And then lastly, I want to mark that Ashley and I put on our matching Christmas Eve pajamas that our mom had gotten us. They're really cute and nice and warm. We usually get matching pajamas on Christmas. It's sort of a tradition. So I'm going to use this Two Pandas sticker from Happy Day. And now we travel over to Christmas Eve. So Christmas Eve actually started in a very unusual way because at the beach the evening before, I had stepped on what I thought was a piece of driftwood. And I stepped on it and thought no more of it. But I woke up the next morning and I was just getting ready, going about the day, and then I thought, hey, my foot hurts where I stepped on that driftwood. So I was looking at my foot and realized I had not one but two splinters in it. And then I realized they weren't splinters, they were sand burr spines. So I stepped on a sand burr. So we then spent about two hours getting these splinters out of my foot, which was extremely painful because the second splinter was in really, really deep. I mean, it, it was in so deep that I was actually contemplating going to urgent care and having them remove it. But thankfully I didn't have to do that, I got it out on my own. Well, Ashley helped me a lot. So that was just a very interesting way to start Christmas Eve and I would like to caution you all to not step on a sand burr ever in your life if you can avoid it. And what was really funny, or not really funny, but ironic I guess you could say about this was when we went to the beach, mom told me not to take my shoes off because it was cold and she didn't think I should walk on the cold sand and everything and I didn't listen and this happened so I guess you could say I deserved it but anyway that was the start to my Christmas Eve. I'm going to put down this bunny sticker from my shop and just write in splinter debacle because that's really what it was. After we got that sorted, we spent the entire day doing adventurous historic things. We first went to Fort Moultrie, which I had never been to before. I should have mentioned earlier that I've been to Charleston a couple times. This was my third or fourth time visiting, but I had never been to Fort Moultrie. So I really wanted to do that. I'm going to mark going with this little girl sticker from Happy Daya. I mean, not Happy Daya. That is definitely from Stick With The Plan Co. So we toured Fort Moultrie in the morning. And again, I vlogged all this stuff. So if you want to see it, check out my vlog. And then in the afternoon, we went and toured Fort Sumter, which I have been to before, 
that I really like Fort Sumter for a variety of reasons. One of which is that you get to take a ferry ride to the fort, which is always really nice because you can see all of Charleston and Sullivan's Island. It's just really cool. So to mark Fort Sumter, I think I'm gonna use this sticker right here, but I also want to mark the ferry ride. I don't think I have a single boat sticker in my collection, but surely we can find something to use that will fit the bill. I think I'm just gonna use this sunshine sticker from my shop because it was very sunny on the ride over there. I was thankful for the shaded balcony on the boat so I did not get a sunburn. And then as I said, I'm going to take this other camera sticker from Once More With Love to mark touring Fort Sumter. Okay, and then the last thing we did in the evening was go to the Festival of Lights, which is a really fun event with a bunch of Christmas light displays. We've been, I think we've been three times now. It's really fun. I look forward to going to that every year. I'm going to mark that with this little hedgehog sticker that is from Sweet Davis Paper. And then they ordered takeout for dinner, so I'm going to try and find my takeout stickers or some takeout stickers. I have different ones, but I think I'm going to use my takeout Winston from my shop. And that is going to wrap up my spread. Let me straighten up and I'll zoom you out. All right, so there we have it. Another completed Christmas spread in my planner. Even though I didn't use a kit, I think this looks really cute. I think it's very cohesive. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.